Hi, it's me, Nick, and it's a great Sunday afternoon in the Garden City, and I am gonna show you how to make one really great quick recipe, Nick's Pecan Duck. Let's head into the kitchen. Okay, here we are in the kitchen, and we've got our mise en place ready. So what you're looking at is Pecan Duck wrappers. They're 2 dollars at any Asian warehouse. You've got spring onions, you've got fresh carrot, you've got a fresh cucumber, hoisin sauce. This is the, the delicious soy sauce, um, sesame oil, and plum sauce as some of the stuff ready. I have my 8-inch blade. You don't need a 12-inch blade. Size doesn't matter in the kitchen. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing now is carrots julienne. Now, julienne is a type of cut. It's like a, a thin strip. So you want to do the, the carrots nice and thin. So you get nice and thin slices to go in your... Pecan duck. Okay, so we've done our carrots, now we're on to our spring onions. Now, these can be a little chunkier than the carrots, so you can go, I'm just taking them and I'm slicing them in half. So spring onions sliced in half and onto the plate. Okay, cucumber next, uh, and we're just what we're wanting in the cucumber is, yet again, kind of like the spring roll, nice and thick chunks, slices of delicious fresh cucumber. As you can see, I'm not being too careful on the old cuts on this one. The carrot, it's a, it's a little bit finer, but when you've got the cucumber going on there, nice and chunky, just like that. And I get to drink Castle's Delicious milk stout while I'm having it. Mm. Okay, um, still drinking my Kessel's beer because cooking is fun. Mm. What I've done here is I put um, two tablespoons of brown sugar in a pan on an element. This is the duck, which I've already pre uh, I've pre roasted in the oven for a couple of hours. But what I want to do is I'm going to actually pour the juice into here. And I'm just going to reduce that down. Okay, so what we've got is we've got our duck that's nicely cooked in the jus, nice and sticky, covered in that beautiful juice that we had from the oven. I'm just going to pop that back on the oven right here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to sl just slice it into nice thin slices of duck. Now, if you look at that, look at that, it's perfectly done. Didn't need to be any more done than that. You don't want to overcook your duck. You also don't want to, um, don't prep your vegetables after you've used the board for the meat. So you never actually use meat uh, before you chop vegetables on your chopping board. So this is, it's just a, it's just a, just a tip. You know, don't, just don't do that. Stay away from that because we don't want to get salmonella. Okay, uh, what we're doing now is we're taking the Peking Duck wrapper, as you can see it's really nice and thin. You're just shoving it into the pan and throwing it on top of the element. You just want to cook it off nice and sort of, just so it's just done, and then I'll explain what happens when we come back to the cheese board in a second. But just if you want to come over here and have a look at this, this is where we've got, see, most, you don't need any oil, you don't need anything, it just is a hot pan, and uh, we'll cook that off. Okay, so here we go. There is one cooked duck wrapper. So what you do now is you take a good couple of chunks of the lovely duck, a little bit of the carrot, a good piece of cucumber, or maybe two, and some spring onion. And you see there's quite a lot of food there. So, and then what all you do is literally wrap it. And that's it. And we put them on a plate and we serve. Okay, so here we are with our Peking duck. Uh, nicely done, wrapped and rolled and ready for our guests. We've got three sauces. One is the uh, hoisin and sesame oil. Then we've got some soy and then we've got some lovely plum, um, plum jam. But it tastes really good with the Mount Difficulty Red Syrah. So, um, bon appetit.